Welcome, in front of me is a Google Pixel 8 Pro and today I will show you how you can boot this device into fast boot mode. So, to get started we're gonna press our power button and volume up at the same time. This will bring up boot options and you want to select power off. Now when the device turns off, you want to give it like 5 to 10 seconds of just being off before you start holding your power button and volume uh, down. So I think it's good enough right now. This will boot you into fastboot mode. Um, now that being said, if you start holding these two buttons and your device doesn't turn on in a matter of like one to two seconds, let go of them, give it like a couple more seconds of being inactive and then start holding them once more. Now, uh, going back to our mode that we're right now in, this is fastboot mode but also uh, bootloader. And just to kind of prove this, I'm gonna select uh, we go bootloader which you do by using your volume buttons and confirm it with power button and you will see that it boots me straight back into here but it is labeled as fastboot mode now there is another fastboot mode which we can access through recovery mode so again using your volume buttons you want to select recovery mode confirm it now you will see android with no command so press power button or hold power button and press volume up and this will then redirect you to recovery mode and in here just like before using volume buttons you want to select enter fastboot mode confirm it and there is the secondary fastboot mode that you can access on this device and similar to recovery mode and uh, bootloader fastboot mode you navigate through here using volume buttons and power button will be used to confirm whatever is selected and here we also have the option to basically navigate to two other menus that we we're already in like the recovery mode or bootloader and we also have the power off option along with enter or reboot system now which uh, brings us back to Android and that is what I'm gonna select by confirming confirming the option with the power button and as you can see we are now back in Android so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching